So as you guys know, I'm a big fan of video game preservation. I certainly like to do my part when it comes to preserving games. And every so often someone will reach out to me and say, hey, MVG, can you help me get a game dumped? And uh, it's something that I'm very happy to, to, to do, assuming that I have the appropriate tools to do so. And in today's episode, this is going to be very interesting because someone that I know uh, reached out to me on Twitter a few months ago now and said that they had an old Xbox development kit that had some interesting things on it. So today on the channel, he basically sent me just the hard drive from the Xbox development kit. And what we're going to do, because I already have a debug kit, also have a development kit as well, we're going to take this hard drive and put it into an Xbox debug kit here that I've got right here. And hopefully everything should just power on and it should get detected without any type of drive unlocking or anything like that because this is a development kit or debug kit it should just be a straight swap into this piece of hardware and from there we're going to extract the contents and basically see what's on this particular drive now normally on a retail xbox it's not something that you can do unless you unlock your drive but on a debug kit it should hopefully uh, allow me just to um, swap these out or swap swap these around i should say and uh, we should be in a position where we can access the contents of this. So we just pop that out and then pop out this power cable. And uh, let's now take this drive out. In fact, what I'm probably going to do just for this piece is just sit it on top. And uh, let's see if it actually boots up. So we're going to connect it here and plug in our power cable and uh, we're going to find a power cable and get this all powered up here and see if it actually boots up. Let's go ahead and turn this on and see what happens. Hopefully it boots up and there's no issues at all. So far so good, but we'll see if we can actually get into the uh, Xbox dashboard here. So the good news is this drive boots up just fine. And as you can see, we can scroll through the contents. There's a couple of interesting things on here. Fast and the Furious or Fast and Furious is one of them. Ford versus Chevy as well. Now, the Ford versus Chevy game, I do know for a fact, did release on the original Xbox. I'm not sure if this is the final version or if it's a, you know, like a, a prototype. In any case, we're going to dump it. There's also Fast and Furious, and from my understanding or my recollection, I don't believe this game ever saw an original Xbox release. I believe it only came out for the PlayStation 2, but I'll have to double check that. But we're, either way, we're going to get both of these games dumped. In fact, what we're going to do is dump the entire contents of this hard drive so we can preserve the entire thing. This LT demo as well is something that's interesting, but I'm not going to actually run anything right now because I feel like any more wear and tear on this hard drive potentially could cause it to fail. Of course, these drives have been around since you know the years 2004, 2005 timeframe. So the next thing that I'm going to do is actually dump the entire contents of this drive without doing anything else. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn on our Xbox. We are connected to our network and hopefully we should have an IP address that's associated with this Xbox debug kit. And uh, let's go ahead and just make sure that that's working. You can see that now we have an IP address that's been allocated, which is 192.168.51.138. So that is a good sign. So we're just gonna make a note of that IP address because it's going to be very important for what we're doing here. Okay, so now we want to dump the contents of the Xbox hard drive. Now, the great news is the OG Xbox community has been very, very active pretty much since the original days of the OG Xbox. It's really never slowed down and in the old days, if you wanted to dump the contents of an old development or a debug kit, you'd have to essentially set up a Windows 98 drive or a virtual machine and then install the official Microsoft Xbox SDK and then install the Xbox Neighborhood. And that particular tool allowed you to have, you know, read-write access to the various partitions. But what it didn't do was enable you to basically just do a complete sector by sector dump of the hard drive itself. In other words, if there was any deleted or missing files or hidden files on the development drive, then you weren't able to get access to those the old fashioned way. So the community has come up with a new tool known as the OG Xbox Dumper. And this runs on my Windows 11 machine. It doesn't require any old virtual machine to be hooked up or anything like that. So let's go ahead and just run it here real quick. 
and the executable is the OG ogxbmdumper.exe and I'll leave links to all this stuff in the description below if you're interested in doing this yourself. If we go ahead and run this and we just press yes, you can see it's, it's found our debug drive on the same IP address that we had previously. So let's go ahead and connect to it. And now it's basically saying, where do you want to dump the contents of your drive? Now at this point, it's asking us to provide a path. So I created a path previously called Xbox. So I'm just going to dump it into C colon Xbox. And basically you want to say, yes, just want to basically dump everything that is available as well. So it's dumping the BIOS. We would dump the EEPROM as well. It's not really that important. The one that we're most interested in here is the one that's coming up is the dump HDD image. Do we want to dump the entire hard drive image? Of course we press yes and you can see that it's detected a nine gigabyte hard drive. Now at this point we're in the process of dumping our OG Xbox debug hard drive and this particular process can take up to about 30 minutes. So I recommend that you maybe just go for a quick walk and then come back later. And once that's all done, you should have the files available on your hard drive. And from here, once this process is done, we can simply turn off our Xbox and unplug the hard drive, knowing that we've completely backed it up and preserved it. Now we can start to take a close look at some of the things that are available on this drive. So I'm loading up the Fast and the Furious game here. And as you can see, it's kind of stuck on this loading screen right now. And it doesn't appear as though anything is actually happening. The hard drive isn't being accessed. Now, the person that sent me the drive told me that what's actually happening is it's hitting an assertion in the code and it's basically frozen. So in order to get past this, what we can actually do is if we move over to our PC drive and we run a tool called Xbox Watson, which comes with the Xbox SDK. And hopefully if we try to launch this game again, so we'll reboot into the active title which means it's basically just starting the xbox with the current game that we had previously loaded uh it should give us some more information about what's going on you can see here it's doing a whole bunch of debugging here of course this is a game that was never released it's an unreleased game so i do expect to see all this kind of debug come through but hopefully we'll see some type of information as to what's actually going on now we're continuing and as you can see here there is a crash an exception has occurred now, this is an assertion failure, which means there's possibly some missing assets or there is some missing data, or maybe the code was just never working properly in the first place. It's very, very hard to kind of determine that based on the information that we have. However, what we can do, at least in the interim, is press continue. And hopefully this shouldn't actually crash the game. It should actually continue. As you can see, it seems like it is. And if we go back to our uh, main screen here, you can see it's still loading. And as you can see, it gets past the error and it gets to the title screen just fine. In fact, the game itself is mostly playable, but of course it is an unreleased version and it does have a lot of issues. It has a lot of crashes. It has a lot of slowdowns and performance issues. Notably, it really does access the hard drive quite regularly. But this is not the end of the story. Of course, because we want to release this game to the public, we don't want to release it in such a way where someone has to rely on XB Watson to press a dialogue continue button in order to proceed. So a good friend of mine, a real OG on the Xbox community known as Libby, was able to help out by patching the executable. So it basically skips past the assertion. In fact, it skips past any assertions that are found in the game. The other thing I was able to do was recover a bunch of missing assets, which does help with some of the assertions that we were seeing. And now with our debug Xbox, we can simply launch into the game without any issues. Now I do want to stress that this particular build requires 128 megabytes of RAM. So if you don't have that, you have a retail Xbox with 64 megabytes, it's probably not going to work. I certainly haven't tested it. But if you do have a debug or a development kit or even an Xbox that just has 128 megabytes of memory, then you will be able to launch the game. Now, as far as release of this game, I've already uploaded it to archive.org and I've provided the original XBE or executable that has been unmodified as well as the patched one, just in case people want to take a closer look. So what is the origin of this hard drive? Where did it come from? Well, originally it came from a studio called Utechnics, which is a UK-based studio who were very well known for racing games, notably the NASCAR series, 
which saw success on both PC and consoles in the Xbox 360, Wii, PlayStation 3 era. They were originally known as Zeppelin Games back in the 8-bit micro days. Zeppelin would be acquired by Merit Studios in 1996, which would then become Eutechnics. Now this Fast and the Furious game was never released on the original Xbox and it only ever saw release on the PlayStation 2 in 2006 and the Sony PlayStation Portable or PSP in 2007. Now this version, as mentioned, is a work in progress original Xbox version that was unreleased and as far as I'm aware this is the very first version to be discovered and dumped. The date for this build is July 7, 2006. It's unclear as to why the game never saw light of day However, it's fair to say by mid-2006, the Xbox 360 was released and Eutechnics may have just scrapped the game and moved on to the 360. After patching the assets and letting the game boot, it's definitely an unfinished version that also contains a debug menu where you can control various aspects of the gameplay and renderer. The second game that I found on the hard drive is Ford vs Chevy. Ford vs Chevy saw a release to the original Xbox in 2005. However, this version is a debug build that's timestamped four days earlier than the retail version. It's quite possible it's probably final or near final code, or even this particular build before it was sent for certification. In any case, it's unique and interesting, and I've already dumped and preserved this build as well. Now, this is not the end of the story. The other game that's on this drive known as LT Demo is something that I'm currently investigating at the moment. The reason why I haven't talked about it in this particular episode and the reason why I'm kind of not really bringing it up is simply because I'm still in the process of learning more about it. I'm trying to get an origin story. I'm trying to piece a timeline about what this game is and you know, its origins and, and how it came to be, if you will. So there'll be a separate episode of that particular game when the time comes. But at the moment, I'm still in the process of chasing up leads and trying to kind of just get an idea about what this game is and where it came from. And with that, if you did work at Eutechnics during the kind of 2004 to 2006 era, and you're familiar with the things that I've been doing on this particular episode, you're familiar with the original Xbox, you worked at the studio around that time and you have familiarity with the things that I'm showing off today, please reach out to me. Please reach out to me because I would be very interested in having a discussion with you and just asking some questions about this kind of mystery third game. But I do give you guys my word on this that I will release everything that I have on archive.org, including the kind of hard drive image as well so people can go through it themselves but i also want to be very clear that i'm not someone that likes to hoard prototypes or hoard games in exchange for money or just sits on them there are people out there that do that kind of thing i personally think those people are scumbags it's not something that i have ever done i've always dumped and released everything that's kind of come across you know my desk here and that will continue to be the case so just kind of sit tight and we'll have some really interesting things to announce for I guess the second part of this episode once I figure out more about this kind of mystery third game. But for now, guys, we are going to leave it here for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to leave relevant links to everything in the description below, including the two games that have been dumped and released on archive.org, the Ford versus Chevy, as well as the Fast and the Furious unreleased version for the original Xbox. And please, if you enjoyed this episode, give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments below, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Bye for now.